The work that you come into is called Aerial. And it's an attempt to use the entire volume of the room as a material and to catalyze it. And that meant, in a way, tuning air itself. We've tried many times to make environments that make the viewer more aware of his or her movement through space and in a way attend to their own experience of that movement and their existence in time. But perhaps this is the closest to what I'm trying to achieve, which is to make the space conscious of you and you conscious of the space. One of my references is Mondrian. He believed in art as an instrument for a certain kind of awareness. And he had to come to New York and this built environment in order to fulfill in a way that the promise of his intuitions. And I feel very similar about Ariel, a work that on one level tries to continue that work of Uccello or Piera della Francesca that attempted to model space itself, in their case, through perspective and the studying of perspective. The issue with perspective, as Hockney has pointed out so well, is that it limits the movement of the viewer. In turning three dimensions into two, it fixes you in a position in relation to this two-dimensional surface. What I'm trying to do is work with space itself and articulate it. And if you think of Mondrian's earlier series, Pierre and Ocean, he's trying to reconcile, if you like, a rational attitude to the measuring of space with an idea of our immersion within it. And that idea of simply using vertical and horizontal lines, I've taken and now materialized into a field system. This is an open question. Will it work? What does it feel like? The material that I've used for this is solid aluminium, but used in very, very small sections. And it has this effect of reflecting light. I suppose all of us take a lot of our existence within the built environment of the city for granted. But this is a, an attempt to say, well, even in the rooms and spaces of our cities, we have that same relationship with, you could say, sidereal time, with the changing conditions of the light of the day. So as well as hopefully activating, catalyzing the space itself and acting as a transmitter and receiver of our thoughts and feelings, it also reacts to the available light. When there is a natural light from outside that comes through the main doors of the gallery, the field of the work responds to that.